in this lesson we are going to learn about nothing's theorem which says that any linear circuit which has been connected between two terminals can be replaced by nothing's current i n which i have here and then nothing's resistance r n okay so you can represent any linear circuit like what i have here okay by nothing's current which is in parallel with what nothing's resistance r n here so before you can do this you, you will have to follow some steps okay so the first thing you will have to do is to remove the load resistor and then mark the two terminals okay so the load resistor will be the resistor whose current you are supposed to to find okay so you have to take out the load resistor then you solve for the current across the two terminals which is what nothing's current we also call this current as well the short circuit current so after doing this you solve for the, the total resistance of the open circuit and before you can solve for the total resistance of this open circuit you will have to short circuit any voltage source and then open circuit any current source in the circuit then after that you draw out nothing's equivalent circuit and then you connect the load resistor then after that you can place for the current in the load resistor so let's look at how we are going to apply these steps so with this question you have to what, find the current in the three ohms resistor using what nothing's theorem so you have to find the current in what these three ohms resistor here okay using what nothing's theorem so let's look at how we are going to do that so we learned out to calculate for what nothing's resistance okay so you have to what, take out the load resistor okay so when you look at this circuit here i've taken out the load resistor then after taking out the load resistor you have to short circuit any voltage source so you see that what this is a voltage source this is a voltage source so i'm going to short circuit it by joining another y okay joining the another y here that's when the positive to the negative which means that i have short circuited the circuit so this is what i have done here so you see that well, there is no voltage source here okay in this circuit and also this is where the short circuit current will be okay and since it is a current source we want to open circuit it okay so after doing this you can now calculate for the what nothing's resistance which is what rn so you could see clearly that the 12 ohms resistor and then the 6 ohms resistor are in what in the parallel connection so you can calculate for the equivalent resistance okay so that would 1 over rn okay 1 over rn that will be equal to what 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 okay so what i'll do is that i'll multiply the 12 and the 6 so 12 by 6 gives me 72 okay 72 then after that i'll do cross multiplication i'll multiply the 6 by this one here so 6 by 1 gives me 6 okay plus then I'll multiply this 12 by this one here which will also give me what 12 so i have what 1 over rn to be equal to what what you have here okay so with this you are going to add 6 to 12 so which will give us what 18 over what 72 okay so let's see if you can simplify this so 18 divided by 72 will give me what 1 over 4 1 over 4 okay so i have what 1 over rn to be equal to what 1 over 4 so i do cross multiplication where this one multiply this one and then this r here what rn will multiply this one here so then you have what rn to be equal to what four ohms okay so you have what nothing's resistance to be equal to what four ohms so now that we know nothing's resistance let's calculate for it nothing's current so let's look at how you are going to do that so in this case i'm going to calculate for it nothing's current here okay so i'm going to name this part here to have a current to have a current i1 okay current i1 here okay so this part is what i n and if you consider this 
42 volt source to be the current source then to be having a current will be in this direction okay so when this current gets to this node here okay it will split into what i1 and then i n so therefore when you add i1 and then i n it should be equal to the current here okay so let's write that one here so the current here will be equal to i1 plus what let me write this for i1 plus i n okay so that'll be the current here okay so now that we have this let's go ahead so i'm going to consider this loop by loop okay i'm going to consider this loop by loop so first of all i'm going to take the loop a b b and then f so since the power source is moving in this direction okay you can see that we have the positive terminal here so we consider the power source or the loop to be moving in what in this direction so this will be the positive direction for this loop and we know from Kettle's voltage law the sum of what the voltage drops in the loop should be equal to the total voltage in that loop and in this case the total voltage in this loop is what 42 volts okay so this 42 volts will be equal to the voltage drops in this loop and the first voltage drop will be across the 12 ohms resistor so you have what the 12 ohms times what the current and the current across this 12 ohms resistor is what i1 plus what i n so that be what 12 multiplying i1 plus what i n okay i1 plus what i n which is what nothing is current and we could call theta n okay so this plus the voltage drop across the 6 ohms resistor and the current across this resistor is what i1 so that what 6 times what i1 okay so this is what you have now so this will give me 42 equals 12 i1 plus 12 i n okay plus 6 i1 okay so so this will be 42 equals 12 i1 plus 6 i1 that would 18 i1 plus 12 i n okay plus 12 i n okay so this is what i have now okay so now we have two unknowns here so we can't solve for yet so let's leave it here so now i'm going to consider the second loop okay so looking at this loop here which will be of loop b c d e b okay so with this loop looking at where the positive terminal is i'll consider the direction to be in this form okay which is of the anti-clockwise direction so from kv we know that what the sum of the voltage drops equals what the total voltage in the loop okay so we have what a voltage drop of what we have what a voltage drop across of this six ohms resistance let's calculate what that voltage drop so we have what the 35 volt okay to be put to the voltage drop across this six ohms resistor that i have here okay so we know that the current passing through this is on the resistance of I1. So therefore the voltage drop is what? 6 multiplying what I1. Okay. So to find I1, we divide both sides by what 6. We divide both sides by what 6. So I'll cancel out. Okay. So this will give me 35 over 6. So we have what? I1 to be equal to what? 35 over what? six okay so now that you know the value of what i want you can find the value of what i n by substituting the value of what i want into this formula here so let's look at how you are going to do that so i have what 42 to be equal to 18 times what i want which is now what 35 divided by what 6 which is what 35 divided by what 6 okay all right that's what 12 
i n okay, let's simplify this here to 18 times 35 divided by 6 this will give me 105 so you have what you have what 42 equals what 105 plus 12 i n so I'm going to take 105 to the left hand side. So I've got 42 minus 105. This should be equal to 12 I n. Okay. Alright. So when I do this, let me come and write it at this side here. Okay. So when I do this, 42 minus 105, that gives us negative 63. So I've got minus. 63 here equals what 12 i n okay so this is what you have now so let's free up some space here so let's free up some space okay so you have what negative 63 equals what 12 i n okay let me write this here. Negative 63 equals what? 12 i n. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides by 12 so that we can find i n with both sides divided by 12. So let's cancel out. This 12 will cancel out this 12. So negative 63 divided by 12, that gives us what? Minus 21. Minus 21 divided by what? Four. Okay, so this will be equal to what? Nothing is current. So therefore, you have what? Nothing is current. I n to be equal to what? minus twenty one divided by what? four. So changing this into decimals, that will give me the value of what? Minus five point two five amperes. So that's what the nothing is current. So now that you know the nothing is current, let's Let's find for the what, the current in the what, three ohms resistor because you know what nothing is current and then we know nothing is resistant. So therefore you can find the current going through the three ohms resistor. So this is what I have here is what nothing is current here. Okay, and I have what nothing is resistance here, which is the four ohms here. So with these two values, you can copy for the current in these three ohms resistor. So you are going to use what? current division rule here so you know that what this is the current from the source okay and then you want to find the current across this three ohms resistor so you are going to use what current division rule so the current across the three ohms resistor is what this i here so i will be equal to this resistor this four ohms resistor so that what four divided by the sum of the two resistors that would divide out four plus three Okay, multiplying the total current in the circuit that's what times minus 5.25. Okay, so let's do this and see what happens. So this will give us the value of i to be equal to 4 divided by 7 multiplying with minus 5.25. So let's see what you get. So 4 divided by Seven multiplying minus 5.25. So this will give us the current passing through the two ohms resistor to be equal to what? minus 3 amperes. Okay, so that will be the current flowing through the two ohms resistor. So you just have to follow these steps and then you get your answer. So please, if you don't understand anything, please. Let me know in the comment section and then I will help you understand where the problem is. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and then subscribe.